I had a conversation with Mo. You know Mo, Mo Jabri, better known as Mo Money in Dubai. We spoke on many things while he was my guest on the podcast. One of the social media clips that I shared was about a point that he made when I asked the question, do you have competition? And his reply was one where he said, there is no competition. His philosophy behind it was that he comes from a place of abundance, that there is plenty of fish in the sea. So even though he's operating in Dubai and he's operating in the luxury sphere, there are a lot of other people who are also doing the same thing. How do you separate yourself from your competition? Um, I don't see competition. Mm -hmm. I agreed with Mo on the whole no competition approach because as a public speaking coach, if you don't know me, then I'm a public speaking coach to CEOs, world leaders and presidents. When clients call for me, they're calling for me. My business has been built to a point where today, if anyone calls, they're not looking to select. They want Kevin Abdurrahman, which means there is no competition. So in a sea of competition, even in my industry, there is no competition. So then another friend of mine and a guest of the podcast, the beast of real estate in Dubai, Faraz Al Misadi, he asked, and I'm going to read this, would love to understand more on the no com competition. How did, how did you interpret this? How does this principle or attitude help? What actions does it inspire? And it was a really good thought. It made me think and it made me realize that this is not only an approach that Mo Money has implemented to become a successful Dubai luxury influencer. This is also the same approach that Faraz Al Masadi implemented to go from nothing. He started as a shoe salesperson to becoming a beast in this region to becoming a top salesperson. He's got a top agency in Dubai. He did over 10 billion dirhams in sales last year. His office is one of the top ranked offices in Dubai when it comes to real estate by way of sales, by way of transactions. He's a beast. And when I thought about this, I realized that he also approaches the marketplace or what he does with abundance and also with the fact that there is no competition. And here's how, how I thought about it. This is my personal opinion, but this is how I thought about it. For us, last year did 10 billion dirhams in sales. Real estate in Dubai is a competitive marketplace. If you know about it, then you know. If you don't, well, now you know. It's a cutthroat industry. Yet, the customers that went or decided to do business with Faraz, they went with Faraz for a specific reason. There could be, and there are, tens of thousands of other real estate agents in the marketplace, all selling perhaps even the same kind of real estate, the, the same listings, they have everything, they might negotiate on the fees, they could do all kinds of things. There is a lot of competition. Yet, when he was dealing with these customers, when he sold over 10 billion dirhams, that's billion with a B, there was no competition. There is competition, but there was no competition because whatever the reasons were, those customers wanted to work with Faraz. So I actually believe that Mo Money, Faraz Al Masadi, myself, and a lot of other smart people operate with this mindset. There is no competition. Not to ignore the fact that there is competition, but our approach to business, the way we think, the way we operate, comes from a place that there is no competition. Because we will either give a lot of value, do things differently, really stand out to a point where the people that want to work with us will work with us. So there is no competition. Hand in hand goes the mindset of abundance. If you come from a place of scarcity where you think there's only a limited pie and if person X takes it, then you're only left with pie minus X, well, then you're only gonna cause a lot of stress to yourself. That's, it's a negative mindset, it's a closed mindset, it's a very limited mindset, which then means your thinking and your decision making is chasing after that small pie. Whereas if you come, like Mo Money said, from a place of abundance, then even if you're operating in a city like Dubai, which is not the largest city in the world, but still in Dubai, Mo Money, who's a luxury vlogger, believes that there is plenty. There is room for plenty. So if you or thousands of other vloggers are out there in the luxury field, it doesn't bother him because he feels that there is plenty out there because different voices will resonate with different people. Again, let's come back to me as an example. I agreed with him. I agreed with him because as a motivational speaker, I speak all around the world. I've spoken for over 20 years. I've done over 300 talks in a given year. If you look at my marketplace, 
it is competitive. On the podcast, I have brought in motivational speakers. I have brought in folks who are public speaking coaches. And some people have wondered, why are you bringing in the competition? I have a mindset of abundance. I believe that even though I might be doing motivational speaking, the next person or the next 10,000 people that are doing it, we're not coming into each other's pies. We all have our voices that resonates with different people. Kind of like that saying, horses for courses. Different people have different tastes for things. So I know that even as a motivational speaker, you might resonate with my voice. You might like it. You might not like it. And that's okay. You might like the next person. That's why there can be room for plenty of people because we will all have our own folks who resonate with us, our own tribe who resonate with us, our own people who kind of get us, who feel us. We sound the same. You know, you might not like the way I sound. You might dislike it and it's fine. There's nothing that I can do about it. But for everyone who dislikes, there might be a hundred other people who do like it, who just like me for the way I am. That's one way of looking at an abundant mindset. The other way of looking at an abundant mindset is what I shared with Faraz al Masadi, how he approaches real estate. So he did certain things to become successful in the last decade. So 10 years ago, he approached real estate and implemented different tactics and strategies and became successful. In the last few years, he, he has had to adjust to the market conditions. Some people, when the market conditions changes, they'll say, oh, it's difficult to do it. They complain, I can't do this. We can't sell anymore. The market is this. The banking system is this. Uh, the economy is this. Coronavirus is this. You name it, they've got the reasons for it. Whereas when you operate from, from an abundance mentality, a channel may dry off, but that doesn't mean it's the end of the transaction. It doesn't mean that the ecosystem is killed. The abundance of wealth, the abundance of transactions or or as for us likes to say with Dubai real estate, every single square feet is bought, sold or rented. This needs to still happen. It just might not take place in the same time frames. It might not take place in the same ways that it used to. Things might have to change. He is doing that. So although we might approach life and we might approach business and we might approach things in a different manner, behind the scene or the mentality we have is of abundance is the fact of no competition because that dictates how we think that dictates the decisions we make that dictates our approach if a door closes we're not complaining about the door closing sure if a floodgate to 100 million has just been closed everyone's going to be upset about it but we don't dwell on the fact that that floodgate has shut we know that if a floodgate has shut another one will open there is an opportunity somewhere to be had for someone with an abundant mindset it's there right that's that's really important and no competition just simply means that as long as in whatever you do you become darn good at it then you don't have to go chasing for the business business comes to you because you're someone who's different because you're someone that stands out ultimately you're someone who's giving value and that's why business comes to you. Successful folks do look at the world in the way of abundance or they look at the world by way of abundance and they look at the world by way that there is no competition. Everyone is welcome. Come and get a piece of the pie. I admire both these guys that I've mentioned. So I'm going to place the links to both of our conversations. If you haven't watched it, please watch it. If you're someone who's looking at going to the next level, you will find the conversations I had with Mo Money and also Firas Al-Masadi invaluable.